Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about what you can expect over the next couple of days in terms of free holiday gifts that Rockstar are going to be giving away, as well as some other changes that Rockstar will be making in the drip feed over the next couple of weeks and months potentially, and a whole lot more. So I know the update just arrived, but in a couple of days, we're going to be celebrating another part of this DLC, and that is the holiday festive surprise. It's gonna be the 2020 version. And so there's usually a lot of things that Rockstar do, and one of those things is giving us gifts on specific days. Now this is usually Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day. So if you log in, you'll get four opportunities to get free gifts from Rockstar. And Foxy Snaps, who on Twitter was able to find out a lot of things on this update, like the unreleased drip feed vehicles, their release order and prices, has also found what the holiday gifts are going to be. Now, I'm not sure if this is complete, like if we're missing something here, because it honestly sounds a little bit lackluster. So here's what it says. Happy holidays from Rockstar. You have been awarded, and then the following, a festive mask, firework launcher, 20 firework rockets, full snacks, full armor, 25 sticky bombs, 25 grenades, 5 proximity mines, and 10 molotovs. So obviously that's quite nice, getting the firework launcher and the rockets. And I think the best part is probably like the full armor, getting like every single one of them filled up. But as far as like a unique item, that doesn't sound all that exciting, like a festive mask. I would have hoped that there would have been like a day where we ended up getting a vehicle for free or something like that. Now, I guess in a way I'm being a little bit picky here because as I'm recording this video, which is on Thursday, December 17th, tomorrow on Friday the 18th, Rockstar is actually giving away a vehicle for free. So I guess I can't really get too picky. Remember, we're going to be getting the Dinka Veto Classic for free starting tomorrow on December 18th through the 20th. So I guess in a way it's like, we're getting a free vehicle this week. Rockstar would give another free vehicle away next week if that was to be the case. But a festive mask just doesn't sound all that particularly fun or exciting. Now, if that is the only thing, as I'm sure you guys uh, are wondering, do you get to keep the mask? You do. So I know that the Christmas content normally goes away because it's traditionally free. However, if you're gifted something by Rockstar, you're able to uh, essentially keep it. They're not going to take away a gift that you get by logging in. Now, one of the other questions I have is, is this going to be the same gift on every single day? On Christmas Eve, will we get a new mask? Christmas Day, a new mask? New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, a new mask? Is this going to be it? I guess we'll have to wait and see. The good news is that it, at least we won't have to wait all that long as the festive surprise is going to be coming very, very soon. And speaking of that, kind of guessing when Rockstar is going to release the Christmas content. In 2014, it started on December 18th. In 2015, also on December 18th. In 2016, the content started on December 20th. In 2017, it started on December 19th. In 2018, it started on December 18th. And last year in 2019, it started on December 19th. So if I had to take a guess, I'm going to say that this year's festive surprise content is very likely going to come out tomorrow when Rockstar has to update the tunables to introduce the brand new go-kart that's going to be added for free. It's either going to be then or I would say on December 21st because that is when they announce that the vehicle will be available for everyone to purchase if you don't end up getting it for free this weekend. But the 21st seems to be cutting it a little close to the actual holiday season for us to enjoy the content because Rockstar always extends it a couple of days before and after because I'm sure they know that people are surrounded by friends and family right now and they might not necessarily have time to jump on like on the day itself. So extending it a little bit before and after obviously gives people the time to jump on and enjoy the festive content. So if it does arrive tomorrow, that's pretty exciting and that's something to be on the lookout as well. Now, some other things that Rockstar could be doing over the next couple of weeks is actually modifying the podium vehicle. So thanks to this new update, we have a brand new list of podium cars. Here they are, according to Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds 2. This is in no specific order, according to him. It's the Cheetah Classic, the Paragon R, the Armored Paragon R, 
the Dominator GTX, the Tropos Rally, the Omnis, the Torador, the Peyote Custom, the Osiris, which we have now on the podium, and the Tyrus. That is an interesting list because it only includes one of the new vehicles, the Torador, and it also includes some vehicles that I don't think people are going to be all that super thrilled about, like the Tropos Rally or like the Dominator GTX. Like These are vehicles that I just wouldn't be thrilled all that much if I won on the podium. Uh, I mean, there is some good ones on there, like the Tyrus, Osiris right now, more supercars, and even the Paragon R and Armored, those are awesome. But it just seems like a weird list of vehicles. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, it also looks like Rockstar has the ability to modify the Cayo Perico heist really whenever they want, which would kind of be cool. So let's say, for example, a, an event week rolls by and they decide they want to like alter all the content on the island, or all the items that you can get. Well, it looks like they have the ability to do that to keep the heist fresh. So according to Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds 2, a couple of months ago, Rockstar added a whole new category to GTA Online, Interactables. Well, it turns out this is in the new heist. As he says, it appears the new heist utilizes the Interactables category. No idea yet what parts of the heist it handles, but this clearly gives them more flexibility to adjust the contents of the heist at any given moment. So just like what Rockstar was able to do, to a degree with the casino heist where they could add diamonds, take them away, increase the percentage of you getting them. It looks like they could do something similar, but a little bit more, I guess, personalized and customized with the Cayo Perico heist. Now, again, we haven't seen them made that change yet, so I don't know what that entails, but you guys get the idea here that maybe they could alter the way the layout works or they could alter you know, how much loot you could get, something like that at least to keep it fresh and interesting. So maybe we'll see Rockstar take advantage of that feature uh, a little bit later in the year or in 2021. Now, of course, as always, when the festive surprise, holiday, and Christmas content arrives, I'll be sure to keep you guys in the loop on not only everything new that Rockstar has added, but also the changes that are happening in the world of Los Santos, like when we can expect Snowfall to arrive into the game, as well as any other cool changes that they could have made to the world as well but i'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below what do you think of the christmas holiday gifts that we're going to be getting do you think there's more that we just don't know about yet uh let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below i would of course love to hear from you guys down there if you guys did go on to enjoy this video though a like rating would of course be awesome and be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new you want to stay up to date on all the latest sheets yay and all the Cayo Perico Heist videos that I'll be doing here on my channel over the next couple of days and weeks. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.